What's going on YouTube? Welcome to the video guys. So thank you guys for clicking on this video. I'm really sure you guys are busy out there. So thank you just for taking just a few minutes out of your time to watch this video. So today's a bit overcast, if you guys can see. So but the weather's nice, but it's just overcast. So trying to get this over before it rains. Anyways, so I want to give you guys an update on the bay, Ninja Bay, and where I'm at. So I'll show you guys what's going on. Alright guys, so as you guys can see, did that little cool edit. Um, but anyways. Got most of the firewall already knocked out. Not really an OCD person, you know, but I really hate seeing this rust. So, brake boost is going to come out. No, I'm not doing a delete. I don't want to be having <laughs> big ass calves and try to pump my brakes and hitting someone's back. So, just going to try and get a new booster or because, yeah, it looks like crap. Um, proportional valve. So, I'm not necessary. I'm not really going to do a brake tuck. I'm just going to neat these lines up. I'm going to get some different lines. I think I'm going to go uh, nickel copper lines and um, do some nice AN lines. Get me double flare. So get me double flare tool and do that. Um, already have these schematic outs. So I know where they go. Um, the the brake, uh, the master cylinder that goes here. The lines are on the tower side so if maybe I can pick me up a, a, um, a Civic SI or a EK booster with the lines facing this way I would make it more easier so I don't have to be doing a bunch of bending so that's that um, heater hose gonna get me some K-Tune heater hose I don't know if I'm gonna reuse these I decided to remove the um, EVAP canister um, hopefully I don't have any cabin smell any nasty smell um, this is the line that routes to it so I may cut this low and vent it down, vent it down bottom um, we still have to remove this back mount we still have to spot weld these out I may do that in a video I don't really want to bore you guys out with all these information that needs to be removed um, side harnesses so passenger side driver side this is the biggest test so I need to deloom all this so this is the light running all the way to the back all these sub harnesses for the OBD2 all these needs to be removed so I can tuck this into the fender I'm gonna leave the battery and the what you call it sorry fuse box and the cabin area and the engine bay um, other than that guys none too crazy um, the biggest mod I want to do and it's going to be hard so I want to make my own mil spec harness. I'm sure you guys already know what that is. CJ wiring, um, wire wire, chase bay. It's where you use a military spec bulkhead. And I may do a get a hole saw and just make the fitting, or just you know just because I'm really running running on space, and I'm in my apartment you know complex. So I don't really want to be disrespectful. I even want to spot with all these guys, but it's just I don't have you know. The garage space and i may be bitching and i, I do apologize but I, I don't have the you know facility to set up a welder and all that but anyways so i may just use the stock harness delete this out um just put this all back into the um cabin area inside the car because i need to remove the dash just get a hole saw or go the hole saw route do a drill a hole and just run the harness through here but other than that um not really much um, I'm really happy how this is going. So, really trying to jump start on it. Just get fast. All these, you know, all these harnesses are not necessary anymore. So it sucks because it's all like attached to the the light harness. So I really have to cut all this out just to remove it. But hey, I'm just loving the challenge. Um, not really much, guys. You know, pick me up some industrial degreaser and um, just just clean this up better, man. Because I, I really hate how it looks. It's really still dirty. Uh, so pay me some industrial greaser. Get me a long 10 millimeter because my 10 millimeter is too short. Remove this, clean it up, um, bend the brake lines. This is going to be the best part. Oh yeah, I removed the fuel filter. So as you guys already know, this runs to the regulator. So I'm going to get a, a K-Tune or Aeromotive regulator. Um, this here is the um, the line for the. Um, you guys may not see because so much going on this is a line for the fuel filter so I'm gonna run an inline maybe an Earl's or a 
K tune, the 6A and dash. Uh, and just run run it through. So everything's gonna be on this side. So man, I, I'm I hope it looks pretty man. I'm not looking for show points or anything. It's just a, a daily, but yeah. Anything I can make it look good and maybe get some work out, you know, hopefully I get successful with this. Do some jobs on the side, maybe charge like 150 to do all of this. I know a lot of you guys may say this may be a lot of money, but I think 150 is a fair deal if anyone wants their lines tucked and just the whole cabin clean, not welded and all that. But um, yeah, so I'll just give you guys an update. Come on, all right, yeah, I uh, disconnected my, um, sorry if I'm rambling too much. Disconnected my um, clutch, because remember our clutch line is gonna be run on this side and the driver's side, because the tranny's gonna be on this side. Still haven't decided what I'm gonna do with power steering. Um, either, um, I don't know, MR2 electric power steering reservoir, I don't know. Um, all that, I really don't know. So, um, yeah. Sorry, someone just walked by. So, this is the update, guys. So, thanks for watching. Peace out.